does the thermodynamic effect in hot water production help building services engineers and operators to deliver safe, efficient and effective hot water systems for commercial applications? The hot water heating cycle within a direct gas-fired water heater is a simple and effective process. From an off condition, the heating cycle is initiated by a time clock device to signal the start of an on period. The temperature sensor within the tank signals that the water is cold and so ignites the burner to start heating. Hot gases from the burner pass up the tubes and the temperature of the water close to the tubes increases. A flue baffle within each tube improves heat transfer, increasing operating efficiency. At the same time, the hot water system pump starts and circulates water around the building. The thermodynamic effect within the cylinder then begins. Stratification becomes apparent. Cold water at the top of the cylinder is replaced by rising hot water and cold water at the bottom of the cylinder picks up heat and continues the cycle. The hot water system pump contributes to the thermodynamic effect by mixing water temperatures within the cylinder between flow and return connections. The water circulating around the building is heating up. By having a short length of pipe from the circuit to the outlet, the draw-off time to the outlet is minimised. This system circulation helps the cylinder reach the set point temperature quickly, typically 60 degrees Celsius, and once achieved, the burner will switch off. Ideally, this should happen as the building occupants need the hot water supply. Once the users draw off hot water, the system is automatically replenished with fresh cold water for the heating cycle to continue. As the demand for hot water increases, with more outlets being used, the amount of cold water entering the cylinder increases. Stratification within the cylinder occurs again. For hot water to be safe from risk of Legionella, it is a requirement that the return temperature from the system is maintained above 50 degrees Celsius. In larger systems, it may be necessary to have a higher set point temperature to ensure this requirement is satisfied. Sensing a drop in cylinder water temperature, the burner automatically reignites and restarts the heating cycle. The water heater controls continue to monitor water temperature, igniting the burner on and off to match the hot water demand. At the end of the hot water demand period, the time clock switches the water heater off, so it will no longer respond to temperature conditions in the cylinder. Temperature control will resume when the next on period occurs. The hot water cycle is then repeated. Hamworthy also provide best practice advice for the design and operation of hot water systems to reduce the risk of exposure to Legionella bacteria. Further advice on commercial hot water systems is available online at www.hamworthy-heating.com.